Okay, so I was lucky enough to be one of the public testers for the Supreme Pro re-uploaded version of RetroPie. Uh, it's not official release yet. Um, they just wanted some feedback from people to to give it a test and see what they uh, what they found. And uh, I found it to be very very good. I really enjoyed it. And um, I, I'm not going to go through all of it, but as you can see, the look of it is very nice. I downloaded recently some Nintendo DS ROMs, and I'd always kind of stayed away from emulation on Nintendo DS because I kind of thought a bit like the Wii uh, is that if you haven't got all the right hardware, it's very hard to emulate. But turns out that Nintendo DS games work really well on emulation uh, and I'll show you how. Uh, so if I try, well, let's just do them in order. Urban G, let's launch that. So you can see what makes it good is I have a stylus. If you thought there was games you wouldn't be able to play because you haven't got a stylus, it doesn't matter. Uh, and the right trigger on the Xbox 360 controller selects. Uh, if I do uh, instant play, and they go down to the tick. There you go. And so you can select at the bottom, you can change things like the maps and things like that, and it works really well. And some of the game, then you use the D-pad for when you're in the game, and some of the games are great. Uh, now I was, I had a Game Boy Advance. Both my kids have had uh, Nin well, Nintendo DS and also 3DS, um, but I actually used to use a lot of emulation on them uh, and didn't, didn't buy loads of games. But uh, actually, it, it's a really good platform, and you can see this is a 3D car racing game. I think this download was about 10 megabytes, uh, and it's really good. So the sound is great, uh, the visuals are great, it's nice and smooth, uh, and it is, it is amazing. Anyway, let's have a look at something else. Oh, I'll go straight through the trees, can I? That's handy. Uh, so if I quit out of that, and you quit out of that by pressing escape, on this, uh, so it's not mapped to the controller. Again, this is—it's uh, not even a, a beta. It's—it's—it it was a public test, and they let a few people uh, have a try. They listed it on Facebook and let a few people have a try and give it a go and see what they thought and to, to see if they could spot anything that didn't work. And there, there were a few things, but overall, it's very polished, and I love it as a system. The Supreme Team do some great builds. Um, they they really do because they they tweak a lot of the retro pie stuff and uh, and just make it you know run better. So single player. Let's just go straight in and do whatever whatever we can find. But you can see very useful to have this stylus. So if you are going to um, do this on um, you know like a handheld device for Raspberry Pi Four. You're gonna need uh, an analog stick to be configured. Now, obviously, an Xbox 360 controller uh, has both. What do I have to do here? Has two analog sticks, so that's fine. And it's also got a D-pad. But yeah, so you can you can do things like uh, see the map. So if I click on the bottom bit here, so I can see. Oh, wrong way. Uh, the the buttons are mapped. A and B is mapped the wrong way around. <laughs> Which, uh, which gets me a lot of the time, especially on Assassin's Creed, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, what's fire? I thought it was, oh. Okay. So again, if I do the right trigger, you can see the map changes and you can actually see the course coming up and all the characters on the course. Very nice, right, so, ghost. <laughs> so let's quit out of that and show another game, which I thought was really good. All, all of these I've been super impressed with. Uh, so Tony Hawk's, now Tony Hawk's on the Game Boy Advance, uh, they did it in, it was kind of 2D, but it, it reacted like a 3D environment, hard to explain really, but, but worked well. Uh, whereas on this, this is a proper 3D environment, and uh, although the graphics, is, it kind of looks sort of cell shaded or something like that, um, but it performs really well. And there's a bit of a story here. There's a nice big open environment, but I love the styling of it. Uh, and even better, it plays really well. I keep I keep doing the D-pad rather than so all the buttons seem to be pretty much standard Tony Hawk's fare. Oh, not quite what I wanted to do. Oh, a bit too soon. So you can see that all the normal tricks, all the button configuration seems to be pretty much the same. It was nice. 
and there's speech in it, there's loads of characters. Oh, I was trying to get up that rail. Oh, it was a little bit ambitious. But uh, but yeah, works super well. Nice speed, nice graphics. Uh, it's good size as well for a small screen because obviously they you know you have to think of that. That's, that's like a tight ramp, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> so let's see if we can get up one of these escalators. Nice. Oh wait. See, you're even going properly in bit. I don't know if I can get into here, can I? No, it's locked. A bit ambitious. So, Tony Hawk's great, and oh, I don't know what happens over that map down the bottom. Oh, it looks like it just shows you a map of, of where you are, which is also nice to have. You know, you don't usually have that in this sort of game, so I know I can see there's a left hand turn coming up here. Uh, I can see that I can get. I don't know, what's the arrows for? They're probably telling you various different things to. Yeah, there's something here, that. Let's get down there. Warehouse locked. So it must be something that you unlock. Whoop, I'm stuck. <laughs> it must be something you unlock as you go further on. I don't know, I'm gonna get up there. Can I stop? Oh, I can pick up my board. Can I whip up there? Okay, well I'll leave that there anyway, but I did think that that was, oh, didn't make it. Uh, I'll leave that there, but I did think that was particularly special as a game. Really like that for a, a mobile game. So, what else have we got? Uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown. Actual, quite a bit of swearing in this, which uh, I'll, I won't include it, um, but uh, it's it's written text, so it's like a comic strip. But it's really well stylized. The music is great, but obviously I can't, I won't be able to play the music, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, but the soundtrack is really, really good. And, uh, and, it, and it looks like a really good storyline. I've only done the sort of first bit, but the... The intro is really interesting. And it's funny that this would go on, you know, essentially a kid system, but then obviously a lot of adults have them, me included. So it's restored my game. So all of that's working well. I can whip out the door here, that. So again, very useful having this stylus. Uh, and now it's kind of like a GTA 2 but actually handles much better. Um, so the environment is a really nice, oh, not if I go that way, where do I go? Oh, that's back. Not used to the buttons yet. So you can hear the music, but I'll probably get away with that because uh, it'll be in the background. So you can see, works really well. Oh, this big city, the motorbikes are just ridiculously fast. Uh, but again, you have the map. I don't know if I do the stylus down, oh, down, down the bottom. Look, I can check my messages and I've got my uh, mobile phone and my emails and things like that. And go back and I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, is that the radio? That's the radio. So I can turn off the radio like that. That changes the stations. Camera angle that. So we can do all sorts of camera angles. This super impressive. So that's more, oh, and it's changed its angle. So I suppose that's so you can see, you know, if you're a bit lost and you're trying to find something, it probably helps you get to that. So what's, is that a, is that a truck there I can nick? Oh yeah, yeah, he was getting in it. There you go, so now I've got a petrol truck oh and so see down the bottom here now so i've got to take the screws off <laughs> so and i can use the controller for that that so I'm, I'm basically doing a circular motion to to undo the screws with the stylus it's obviously not as ideal as having the stylus crikey that takes some turning doesn't it why is that oh i wasn't actually doing it Oh, okay. You have to go over to it first. There you go. 
and then what have I got to do? Remove the screws out of the panel, then connect the ends to the exposed wires, hot wire the video, the vehicle. Both both there, is it? <laughs> I mean that is that is amazing. What am I doing now? Oh just twizzling them together so that they don't come apart. Amazing. Right, so let's just go back and just have a quick drive around in my truck. Yeah, and the hand and straight away I can feel oh I obviously can't go through that bit. And I can't see where I am now. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. No, I think I'm going to leg it. Wow. So if I change the... I don't know how to change the camera from there. But anyway, you can see it looks really interesting. Very, very enjoyable to play. One more game. So hit escape to quit out of that. There is some um, save states and things in here as well, uh, which I won't... Oh, show the wrong thing. Uh, which I won't do, but if you press left trigger, um, then it gives you a save state and you can basically save your progress uh, and carry on from where you are. So Assassin's Creed, uh, really enjoyable. Um, I've, play I've played quite a bit of this, but I haven't, haven't saved it. Um, but basically you can, so you use the control pad and it's a bit like, if you've ever played Mirror Mirror's Edge on mobile, it's similar to that. So we can jump, we can climb walls, but you can also do all the stealthy stuff as well. And the A and B button are the wrong, are reversed on this. So it's a bit confusing when it, when it gives you the tips. And obviously this is just the tutorial, so that's why. So now we've got a Y button to attack, but also right button to block here we go so so block oh oh right button i was pressing right trigger and it's x not y because they're reversed but then you have even things like this where i can jump and you can hide and so you can see the arrow down the bottom. When he turns around, I can jump out. <laughs> I can do my rather ruthless kill. But even here, when you jump up, so you can stay there, wait till he turns around. Little bit solid snake. Get up there and, oh, oh I didn't press it in time. But you can see that the stealth works as well. Anyway, so Nintendo DS games on Supreme Pro re-uploaded, but again, this is just the public testers version. Uh, this isn't official release and a full version will be out soon. Okay, so I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.